This video is made for adult collectors because the cube. So I'm trying something a little different. I'm doing a video on a Thursday, I know, but I'm doing this so like if a company wants to send something over that isn't my normal type of content, but I wanna try it out, or if there's just a toy that I wanna look at that isn't my normal type of content, I'm gonna do it on a Thursday. That way we can still keep the normal video schedule you guys are used to, and I don't have to ruin it. So last time I looked at some 5-2 toy stuff, I was like, these are cool, but they have some issues. Well, this time I'm probably gonna be saying that a lot less. These are three new ones that they sent me, Mortal Coil, Shovelhead, and Schlegel, interesting names. And now this adds to my ever-growing 5-2 Toys collection of boxes stacked in the corner of my room because the stack is this tall now, that is a leader next to it. So I'm gonna start in box mode because it just makes my life a whole lot easier. Also, 5-2 Toys, I, I know you're watching this because you sent these over to me. Can you please like partner with Hasbro and do an all spark that turns into an Optimus Prime or something? That would be the coolest thing ever. But yeah, these were sent by 5-2 Toys and they have a ton of these sort of things online. I'll link their Amazon page below if you wanna go grab something for yourself. So these three cubes are, well, uh, cubes. <laughs> I will say the plastics do feel a bit better from the last three they sent over. And their cube modes feel more tightly packed and well put together, except the white one. Mortal Coil has kind of a tough time staying together and his transformation into cube mode can get very annoying at times, but the other two are fine. Still love the storage containers. These three fit in very nicely into these like clear plastic containers that are stackable and plug inable. That's a word, I think. But that's all they really do in this mode. So let's make them robot animal thingies. All right, enough about them being cubes. Let's make them actual animals. And we'll start with the easiest one. Just get them out of the way. The alligator or Schlegel or crocodile or whatever this thing is. It's got a flat nose, so I'm assuming alligator. But you just open this up, you rotate these out. It's very simple and very interesting in how this thing works. Because the tail and head unfurl from the middle like this. And the way that they do it, it it's a lot of hinges. But then you're left with an articulated tail still? I, I just, I'll talk about that more later. That is just so cool to me. Same with the head. You open this up, you get the mouth out, and the plastic feels great. So it's not like I'm scared of breaking this by manhandling it, because it feels a lot better than the last three they sent me. And then, not as articulated, but you got an articulated alligator, crocodile head. And then the limbs just sort of rotate down. Easy peasy. And you got, yeah, I'm not gonna do the other ones because it's the same thing, but there you have Gator. Now, now in contrast to that, these two are rather complex. Not over, well, he's kind of overly complex, but this one I actually quite like. Now, you do, I did also get this from them. This is a little thing. Um, it You can buy four of these and stack them together and store them in one of the little cube things as I, as I throw it at myself. But this is for this dude. So, Let's zoom in so you can see it and focus it on the toy. And let's get into this. Slide these out like so all the way. Bring this up, rotate it and close it. Just sort of around. I think that's correct. No, that's incorrect. That way. We're gonna go with that for now. <laughs> then we just sort of bring this tail section out Flip this up underneath, just sort of get everything untabbed. One of the problems I have with 5-2 Toys transformations is they're not the most memorable things in the world, so it can be hard to remember what step is supposed to go next. Um, and that's not for lack of trying. That is just a byproduct of all the 5-2 Toys toys that I have, is just I tend to not remember their transformations as often as I probably should because they're not memorable enough. There we go. But that being said, it doesn't take rocket science to be able to figure out what's supposed to go where as you're going along with it. Because, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that hasn't changed much. But as you can see, we now have Warthog. That was pretty easy. And then the cool thing is, is that he's out of focus. There we go. Cool thing is with, with this idiot right here, you take this off, you plug it into here, 
And then you take this, fold it forward, rotate and rotate, fold it forward, rotate and rotate. And then this section right here will actually slide into the lower jaw area underneath. Just get everything lined up like that. Then you peg that in and now you have the literal horizon zero dawn warthog thing which is cool and now it's time for the stupid bird the bird's not terrible by any means it's just not the most fun of the three because oh that's already come out because you gotta like fold out the legs rotate the feet get the wings out and unfurled getting the wings back into place is like just annoying it can be very annoying at times. We'll get all that sorted, get the tail out. Unfurl this, get the head. Close that back up. S unpeg the bird legs, slide them back. Mm -hmm. There we go. There you have bird. See, getting him from cube to robot, easy. Robot to cube, forget about it. That's He's the main reason I started in cube mode on all of these, because I hate putting this thing as a cube it's it's annoying. I really love the gator, or is it a croc? I, I don't I don't know. I'll probably switch back and forth between the two, so don't get mad. But these three animals are actually really neat choices, and the gator croc is definitely my favorite. It's so simple yet achieves what it needs to better than others. What's awesome about the way that this transforms too, as I pointed out, is that they manage to work in an articulated tail into this thing. It's so small. Titans return croc couldn't do that. The, it's it's very nice. The pig is just a Horizon Zero Dawn animal, especially when you attach that separately sold gun thingy. I love the way this looks. The legs feel pretty thin and a bit delicate, but the rest of the toy feels very solid. Even with the Horizon thingy on the front of the head, it's strong enough to hold it. And these colors, man, they're just swish. Now the stork. It's my least favorite of the three, but that's not saying it's terrible. It's very tall and has a very impressive wingspan. Like it towers over some mainline transformers and the fact that it can compress down into a small cube is impressive. But balancing it though can be a pretty big challenge because his feet are so small and his legs are super skinny and he's very top heavy. But yeah, I do like these a lot more than the last three they sent. And while they're great, I'd really recommend the pig and the croc gator. The bird is fine, but it's not that enjoyable to transform unless you're okay with that like I don't I don't I don't have fun with it personally and it's not one I would really recommend but the other two for sure they are neat and they're making this stack grow a lot more and they aren't too expensive which is very nice I do want to get those ninja turtles though that's I, I as one day I will get those ninja turtles they are so cool but that's my look at a couple more 5-2 Toys products thank you again for sending them to me follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time bye bye